I know. So we're doing more bench stuff. Imagine that. So I've already warmed up halfway. Um, this is 235. Working sets today are going to be 295 for triples, for a 3x3. Three three. The camera's crooked. Just trying to straighten that out. So I figured I'd upload a raw bench press session, something I've never done before, and cut out some of the warm-up sets because they're pretty boring. So yeah. Alright, so everything up to 225 was triples because I'm hitting triples today. Uh, the next two warm-up sets are going to be singles and then we're going to start our working sets. That's primarily so I don't tax myself too much going into my working sets. So this is 265? It looks like 255, so it's 265. This is a 55-pound bar. So, we're going to do a single here. I'm going to probably do a single like 280 and then we're going to move up to 295. Alright, so 285 pounds for a single. This is kind of a weird jump, but I don't want to make a 40 pound jump, so I figure I'm just going to split the difference from 265 to 295. That's 30 pounds. I'm dumb. So anyways, I'm going to hit 285, just going to be another single, and then we're going to move into our working sets of 295 for triples. And yes, the temptation is there for me to do 300 for triples, because it's only 5 pounds away, but you know, you got to do what your programming says. And I've been taking 10 pound jumps in this linear progression now for three weeks, so I'm not going to take a 15 pound jump and screw it up. And this will be the last week of doing triples. The next two weeks are going, <clears throat> are going to be different things. So I'll actually show you guys those. Uh, and then I'll show you guys my eight week program. It's either six or eight, but it works. So. Alright, so up to 295 finally. We're going to do a 3x3 here. And it's going to be scintillating. Alright, so fun fact of the day, one half times body weight is very uncomfortable, but if you guys want to get better, you have to learn to deal with discomfort. Getting stronger isn't something your body wants to do, your body wants to stay the way it is. So, the difference between those of us who are strong and those of us who aren't, we just know how to deal with pain. And to put a little footnote there, there's a difference between pain and injury. Okay, if you're injured, don't do this shit. If you're in pain, see what you can do. Big difference. It's a fun fact. This is a majority of powerlifting. You just kind of sit around and do nothing. Play on your phone. But according to the top fitness YouTubers, you're not supposed to do that.
All right, guys, final triple. I should probably put the kilograms on the screen for those of you that do kilos. I don't even know how much it is. It should be like 100 or something. I'll look it up. Don't worry, I got you guys. Um, final set, and then, of course, we're going to move into overhead press, standing overhead press. It's just going to be four sets of five, which that's actually going good. Throwing my squat, my deadlift, throwing my pressing is going great. So... Uh, moving to that, and then we'll do some close grip feet up bench. So, I'm gonna go and do this last set here so I can get done, and then I'll, we'll go over to overhead press, and I gotta change my belt because I need a thicker belt. So on to shoulder press. Uh, they're scintillating four sets of five. Uh, like I said, shoulder press is going great because my shoulder press is stagnated, which is a good sign for my bench because when my shoulder press stagnates, my bench goes up. When my bench stagnates, my shoulder press goes up. So I'm trying to build a bigger bench. So we're on the right track. So I'm just gonna show one set of this because no one really cares about overhead press. And actually it might not even be in frame because I'm not gonna move the camera because I'm lazy. And then uh, we're gonna go on to close grip bench. So moving into my final actual bench movement, which is close grip with feet up. Once again, linear progression on this the past few weeks. I started at 215 to 225, and I figure I PR on Tuesday on floor press, so I'm gonna try and up this to about 230, 235. Once again, five by five, feet up. I'm not gonna show you one set of this too, because or four by five, sorry. And I'm not gonna show you one set of this, because there's no point in doing more. I'm sorry for the glare because of the white lighting here. So, kinda got to put up with it for this set and I'll also put the kilos on the screen. All right, you guys might notice a couple things about this. I'm not wearing my belt anymore for these. It's because I didn't really pressurize too much on this. Like I said, this is more of an accessory. This isn't a main movement, so it's not that big of a deal. And secondly, if you guys are having trouble feeling your triceps on a close grip bench, really make sure you're forcing your elbows in, like almost touching your sides. Some of you, I know your lats will get in the way, but focus on pushing them in you'll get more of a contraction through your triceps rather than it just being an actual bench press it's just your hands are closer this will be more of a tricep focused bench press so try that tip out uh, this will be first set of four sets in me. Then I move into bodybuilding work, which isn't really that interesting. All it's going to be a skull crushers, tricep push downs, and reverse grip push downs. And that's what, 5, 3, 3 is 11 sets, triceps, tricep hip movements. And that's it for the workout. Um, after I get done here, I'm going to an Apple Festival, which isn't really worth filming because it's like really small. It's basically just food vendors and like arts and crafts. So, and I'm gonna buy some stuff because there's some really uh, good homemade things there. And uh, I'll show you guys that. Yeah. So, let's just fast forward to the end of the evening.